So, Chappie is ready for a couple of receptacles right now, and this is AC voltage. AC voltage is scary because it could actually harm and kill you. So, the things I do here is not a tutorial. I'm not a licensed electrician. I'm just a DIY kind of person, and you are probably the same. So do your own research and just kind of hang out and just watch how I do things. I do want to get this area up and running right here. I want to get the fridge plugged in, and I also want to get the air conditioner plugged in. So I got to run a line from the panel through here, through this entire area, and over here. Which sucks because Romex is kind of expensive right now, and that's probably going to be a 15 to 20 foot run. So I'm going to use one whole cable for one circuit. All right, so we have the residual amount of Romex right here. This stuff's gonna go right through here and right through this knockout. I'm actually going to kill the power so I don't have to worry about any live voltage. So we'll do that now. Oh, we're still in battery power, haha. <laughs> yeah, that switch right there is awesome, but I need to put an idiot light so I know when it's actually connected. Um, because I just killed all the power and I'm like, why are the lights still on? I'm actually hooked up to Chappie's main battery and that was feeding the coach. So now Chappie is completely unplugged. There's no power coming in the rig and we're not being sustained by the main battery. So it's pretty dark in here. This right here clamps down on the cable. So in the event it were to get tugged, it's not gonna get pulled on this circuit breaker. This will keep it in place and all the tension will be transferred through the box. And we'll cut from the back side. Cut around. Then just go straight from the center. Pull the insulation off. Totally apologize for the low light right now, but we have Chappie's first circuit wired up. Oh, I gotta plug Chappie back in. One second. Yeah, that really just happened. I was flicking the switches and I was like, why isn't anything working? And it's because Chappie wasn't plugged in. Now he's back on shore power. So now, 30 amp. And after 30 amp, converter. Good sign. Converter turns on. We have lights. So after that would be our very new circuit, which is the fourth one down. 
mini fridge is on. So cool. Yeah, that really happened. Whew. I was a little nervous for a second. Gonna be honest with you, because I wired in this box right here. This box has two receptacles, just because these plugs are so large. This one right here goes to the refrigerator. This one right here is for the air conditioner. And then we also have our exterior power. This little cable right here, this guy goes to the outside which is this receptacle that I actually refurbished. This is the original outlet or exterior outlet to Chappie. So the reason I put this junction box right there is because my solar stuff is gonna live in this area and I need a place to take all of that energy and dump it into something. So here's gonna be where my transfer switch is gonna live. So when we're off grid and we're running solar, the power's gonna come from my solar box into this in its own wire and it's gonna run backwards into Chappie right there. So I'm using this conduit to get short power and also to deliver battery power when we're not on short power. Oh yeah, so I was a little nervous to be honest with you because I haven't done electrical at this capacity. So you can do it. Do your research, you'll be fine. As long as you do your research and you respect the voltage. I'm so pumped, this mini fridge is on right now. It's running. It's so freaking cool. So Chappie has his fridge and also an air conditioner that is wired up and ready to go. So currently at this moment we are running roughly one amp. And that's with the refrigerator currently running right now. It's a big reason why I got it because it has really low consumption and a very easy to handle draw when it, the actual compressor comes on. And we're also running the lights. So check this out. When I actually turn, we're also plugged into the outside, which is on the same circuit as the refrigerator. It's a 15 amp circuit. This heat gun on on low, pulling 6.7 amps right now. Now on high, 12 amps. So there's no way I'm actually gonna overload the circuit on the outside. Uh, a heat gun has a ton of draw. I'm not gonna be running a compressor, mainly just like fun Instagram stuff like lights. Very pumped on the install itself. I love that this actually works and then I get to use some electricity on the outside of Chappie. Okay. So yeah, one full circuit wired in and we're gonna work on another one. <laughs> 